Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. I'm probably going to regret this. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. Because it just feels like a bad idea. And sometimes bad ideas have to be done. So, I live in South Florida. And there's this whiskey producer from California. And... The only one of their expressions that's available to me is their Heresy Rye. Uh, it's a straight rye whiskey. Now, the name of this company is Broken Barrel. Now, what is Broken Barrel? Why, why, why is it such a weird name? Broken Barrel, what does that even mean? It has to do with their finishing process. So what they do is they take and they dump their barrels into a tote. And then they take bourbon and other barrels as we're about to find out and they smash them literally with a sledgehammer they break the barrels down into chunks and then those chunks go into the tote to finish the whiskey drastically increasing the surface area of the wood that's being used for finishing it's a short-term finish and gets you a, a we'll see amount of flavor now of these, I have had two of their expressions before. One was a sample sent to me quite some time ago, and now I don't even remember which one it was. It, I'm pretty sure it was one of their regular expressions, one of, their, one of these regular ones over here. I, I can't remember now. It's been so long. But I did have a sample of the Maple Mizanura just recently, and we'll get to that when we get to that. So, what I have here is they sent me little sample bottles of their products. And then I also have two samples sent to me by two of my patrons. This one was from Tyler Uris, and this is the Broken Barrel Plank Walker. And then this one is from Deborah Cohen, the Magnificent Angel of Whiskey. And this is a Flaviar pick. Port finished. Uh, this is their batch three. So we're gonna we're gonna go through what each of these are, and I'm gonna taste them. I'm gonna nose them. It's basically, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm gonna do more in depth reviews of each of these later. But I just want to run through them and see what I like, what I don't like. Just kind of familiarize myself with these. Now, normally I would do this kind of thing off camera. I would familiarize myself with with a whiskey. Um, you know, sometimes I like to do fresh crack stuff, you know, videos for you guys. Sometimes I like to kind of taste a whiskey, give it a minute, let it open up, see what it see what it's got to offer before I dive into a full ass interview and just wing it. So, but this time, I just want to wing it. I seriously just want to take these guys and and see what happens. I figured I would let you guys kind of into my my process and and we're just gonna get kind of maybe a little shitty. I don't know. I was gonna have <laughs> the last time I did an eight part flight, um, by the end of it I was pretty looped. So we'll see we'll see if halfway through this I start sweating and, and not making sense. So, we're just gonna go for it. So the first one we're gonna try over here is we're actually gonna start with the rye. Uh, that might be counterintuitive to some of you. Like, why would you start with a rye? Don't ruin your palate, blah, blah, blah. I don't find that I have that problem. I can kind of drink rye and it doesn't screw me up too bad. Um, the reason I'm doing it is because I wanna get that out of the way. I don't want to throw the rye in later because I kind of sorted these by proof point from lowest to highest. And I want to kind of get the rye out of the way so it's not in the middle of running through these. So, and also because this one's actually available to me. So, this is their Heresy Straight Rye. It's 105 proof. Now, they don't just use one broken barrel to finish 
whiskey with. So, and they're super transparent. Right on the side of the bottle, it has the mash bill. Now this is 95% rye, 5% malted barley. The oak bill, which they turned, coined their own term there because they're doing an oak bill finish. 40% ex-bourbon, 40% new French oak, and 20% sherry cask. So this is ex-bourbon, new French, and sherry finished rye. And it doesn't have an age state on this one. Ooh, herbal. The French oak note is there. And the sherry, I'm picking up on the sherry too. Nice pungent, fruity sherry. The rye is very herbaceous, very floral. Not, not too stemmy though, it's more flowery floral. Let's taste it. Oh, I actually like that. Ooh. Um, what is it reminding me of? It's kind of reminding me of the Senator a little bit. No, that's not it. I don't know what it's reminding me of. It's reminding me of something else. Maybe it's the Sherry that's throwing me off and taking me down like a memory lane. I really like the French oak, the way that plays with this. That's really interesting. Dang. I like that. I actually, I actually really like that. At my local Total Wine, they have this in the old bottle. I want the new bottle, damn it. I've been waiting for the new bottle to show up so I can grab one, but maybe I'll just go ahead and grab one. Dang, okay, impressed. I'm impressed with that. All right, now, next up, we're jumping into Bourbon Town. Now, this is their bourbon, and it's the, what they call California Oak. It's 88 proof. The mash bill is 70 corn, 21 rye, 9% malted barley, and then the oak bill is General Coast Cabernet Staves, so obviously California Cabernet, 80%, and then 20% new... French oak. <laughs> That's tripping me out. That's kind of tripping me out. That is so plummy and grapey. Oh man, it's remind uh, honestly, it's reminding me of scotch. Why? That's tripping me out. Only 9% barley. This is reminding me of like Glen Morangi. Glen Morangle. Glen Morangi. How do you say that stupid name? Last night I had a sample of Glen Morongle, Glen Morongle, um, Tale of Winter. And this is kind of reminding me of it. That's tripping me out. The nose on this is unbelievable. It's like creamy and thick and viscous. And for 88 proof? And then there's a there's a, a wood note that cuts through. Wow. The nose is a little better than the palate. The palate is 
is more of a traditional bourbon. The, the French oak still shows up. The Cabernet still shows up. But you can tell it's young. I can tell that that's, that's younger whiskey. The nose is pretty outrageous on that. Wow. Okay. Well, let's keep going here. So this is the small batch. Bourbon. 95 proof. Uh, mash bill on this is 70 corn, 21 rye, 9 barley. Same as this. The oak bill is X bourbon, French, and sherry. X bourbon, French, and sherry. This is more funky, a little more pungent. Oh, God damn. That rye. Rye is rude. I was going there to see if, see about the sherry notes, if they are similar enough to you know recognize them here and there. But that is the herbaceousness of the rye is a little too loud. This is, yeah, it's got that funky pungy, pungy, pungency. Vanilla, a little custard actually. On the nose, I like the California better. On the palate, I like the small batch better than the California. That's really cool, really cool. All right, next we have Maple Mizanera. Now, this one is an American whiskey. So this is already a whiskey that was twice barreled, probably. The uh, mash bill on it is 86 corn, 7% malted barley, 6% rye. So it's a weird mash bill. That's interesting that the barley is a little heavier than the rye. So it's mostly corn whiskey. Pretty close. The uh, oak bill is 85% Mizanera, 15% quarter cask maple syrup barrels. <sighs> the fat kid in me. The fat adult in me, whatever, loves this whiskey. It's like, oh. I don't know if you have a crumble cookie store near you, but in, in their, their assortment of cookies changes every single week, but they make this one cookie that is like, the frosting has maple syrup in it, and it's like a cinnamon roll cookie, kind of, with this maple frosting on top. This absolutely reminds me of that. Oh my god. This is like fat kid cake whiskey. It's stupidly good. Obviously, maple syrup, vanilla, caramel, Honey, cherry, oh, taste. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch. That's son of a bitch and good. God dang. All right, we're going to move on because uh, seriously, that I'm going to do a full review on that later because. Okay, this one is uh, Plank Walker. Now, um, Broken Barrel didn't send me this. This one was sent to me by Tyler Uris. And this is straight American whiskey. So, same as this, American whiskey. Uh, theoretically, I don't know the, I know the stave. I don't even know that, I don't know the mash bill or the oak bill on this one. I just know what, oak, what woods are in it. Um, so, this is finished with, Barbados rum 
and rye staves. And this is seven years old. So this one has an age date. Let's go. Oh, I smell the rum. It's like some four square up in my glass right now. Oh, that is pretty. I'm getting banana, vanilla, caramel. There's a hint of nuttiness, like waxy nuttiness. Like walnut or, oh, no, 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 Brazil nut. Maybe even a hint of macadames. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's nice too. Oh, that's beautiful whiskey. It's sweet and light and pretty. Um, proof is 115 points something, maybe a six. It's a little bit covered. Maybe eight, I'm not sure. 115 proof plus a percentage of a proof. I don't know which. I, fat kid, me. I prefer the maple over this, but this is also absolutely beautiful. Now, this one is broken barrel bourbon finished in port for Flaviar, batch three, 116 proofy points. Now this one, I do know all the deets on this one. 70% corn, 21 rye, 9% barley, 80% port, 20% new French oak. Oh, that's nice too. Dang. Oh, I can totally smell the port. A little bit sharp on the palate. The nose is absolutely gorgeous. Nice port notes, nice vanilla, nice cherry, nice creaminess, nice butterscotch, nice brown sugar. You know, all the all the normal bourbon newts but they on the palate it's just a hint sharp so that one's not one of my favorites all right let's keep going this one is called the reckoner this is american wheat whiskey finished in cognac this is 36 months so three years old 120 proofs the mash bill on is 85% wheat, 15% malted barley. So no corn, no rye, just wheat and barley. And the oak bill is 80% cognac, 20% franch oak. So I'm very excited to try this. I don't know that I've ever had a wheat whiskey that doesn't have any corn or any rye, just wheat and barley. Wow. I like that nose. It doesn't smell 120 proof. It's, it nose is very light, very pretty. I don't even know how to describe this nose. It's Have you ever smelled, like intentionally smelled, pizza dough before you cook it, you know, like as you're like kneading it into dough? That's kind of the nose I'm getting on this. Like before you add any of your pizza spices or anything, just, just the dough. But it's sweet and it's light and it's pretty. And it's just, that's just an interesting nose. I, I gotta taste this. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Wow. That's weird. It's almost peppery, but peppery is not the right word for it. It, it hints towards peppery. It's not like white pepper, it's not like black pepper, but there's like a kind of a hint towards pepper. But then also, there's a hint towards like pickle juice. It's more of a feeling than a taste for the pickle juice. That's really interesting. It's very weird. It's not, it's not something I would probably run for. The, and for 80% cognac, the cognac influence is relatively light. I can smell it on the nose. I can smell the, the little bit of cognac, but it's still an interestingly light cognac, cognac influence. A little honey. I mean, I know there's no rye in this, but there's almost a hint towards an herbal note that I would normally call rye, but I know it can't be. It's got to be just wheat. Now, now there are wheat notes that I'm totally picking up that, like, I would get like a Weller 107. You know that weediness. That's absolutely there. I'm looking for what's weird, what stands out, what stands as unexpected. Okay, last one. This one's called Rare Americana. This is straight American whiskey finished with broken barrels. This is a seven-year age state, so whoop, whoop. Uh, 120 proof. Mashville is 85% corn, 15% rye, no barley. Oakville is 75% sauternes, and then 25% French cask. I'm kind of excited for this one. Super fruity, super pretty, just gentle and caressing, and it does not, again, does not nose like 120 proof. Like, I can just throw my nose all the way in there, and some other stuff that I've had today, I couldn't do that. <sighs> like, grape jam. Raunchy vanilla. Raunchy vanilla hiding right behind that grape jam. I gotta taste it. Oh! Okay. That, oh! That's a roller coaster ride right there. Dang, what the? Okay, I gotta go again. Sorry, I just ran through the turnstiles. I'm jumping on the coaster again. Vanilla, cream, oak, peanut butter, into cashew. What is that? Like green grapes all of a sudden? With something spicy behind it? Like jalapeno juice, and then orange zest, orange citrus, all seasoned by oak. That's freaking great. That's freaking great. Okay, what's my favorite? What's my favorite one out of all of them? That maple mizanera, holy F. That just smells so flippin' good. Second favorite is gonna be rare Americana. And then, 
I really like the California oak. And I'm actually really liking the rye. We have that one. This one, the Reckoner. Mm, that one's just not quite doing it for me. It's interesting, but it's just, it's not something I would buy a bottle of. The Flaviar, it's got that weird funkiness to it. I'm not a huge fan of that. Plankwalker is pretty great, if you, especially if you love rum. If you love rum, Plankwalker is going to be your jam. Wow. All right. Maple. Misonera for me. Oh my god. I would literally pour this on pancakes, French toast, whatever. I just lick it off. Oh my god. Thank you so much for sending me these samples, Seth. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Deborah. Uh, I'm so happy to have tried all of these. It was really fun to run through the entire lineup that I was able to get my hands on, obviously, because of you beautiful people. And, um, and just kind of see where my head's at. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to do individual reviews on a few of these uh, for sure after doing this. But this one. God damn it. Oh, that's so good. Thank you again. Until next time, guys. I hope you have a great day.